My name is Chuck Atkins and I'm from Fincastle, Virginia. Uh, only an hour and 40 minutes from here and uh, I'm really, I'm set up and I'm really looking forward to the next few days and talking to people about uh, what I did to my 2007 FJ Cruiser. We bought it brand new, second uh, FJ that came to the dealership. My first uh, trip was to uh, Natural Bridges National Monument in Utah and uh, the reason that we got the cruiser was I had a, a 1995 uh, Toyota uh, T100 pickup and my wife says, that won't make it. You need to get another vehicle. So this is what we ended up with and it's been absolutely great. When we first started talking about taking this vehicle camping, we, we got a rooftop tent and, uh, and that serviced very well. Um, however, my wife said it didn't have any turndown service nor was it king size. So it was me. <laughs> and so then uh, after making a couple more trips out west, primarily to the Four Corners area, uh, and having stuff in tubs and pulling it out and, and just taking a lot of time to, to have to deal with it, I started thinking about building something in the vehicle itself. And that's what I did here. And that's primarily why I got started uh, with this and obviously the the biggest thing is is it going to fit <laughs> so you have to start working some, with some dimensions and i thought about it a long time i'm retired so i have a lot of time to work and and i'm down in my basement shop out of my wife's way and she doesn't know where i'm at so i she doesn't i don't get called for the honey do list so that's what uh, what i did when i worked on my uh, my project i wanted to build basically this part right here as kind of a frame and screw together and and what i actually used was this craig pocket hole jig and all this inside and you really can't see it is a frame and you know it's all open except for for the drawers that fill in the, the spaces but all these drawers are full pull extension uh, drawers that slide out there's a little magnet at the back and there's a magnet in the very end that these things latch to so they stay closed. One of the things that I, that I wanted to do, and I kind of, I, I guess I cheated a little bit, uh, I went online and started looking at what people were doing with these pullouts. So what I have here are these storage drawers. This is a pullout cutting board, which I could pull all the way out if I wanted to. And then if you keep coming on out here, you have this space and another drawer. I also have my stove stashed away right here. Then you bring this on out here. This piece lays down and then the stove sets right in that area. Now, of course, this is, with the stove, the top, and all this stuff, this is quite a bit of weight on those hinges, and they're, they're probably just a slightly light weight hinge than what they really should be. But I ran across this little thing here that you use to, that's a, that out on the, like a job site or a construction site to pick up nails, and so it, it works perfect. And underneath here is a, is a piece of metal that's actually attached now with the mag magnetic or the magnet goes down and support it. And I actually have a little gizmo that you can put the uh, piece in to make it a little bit more stable. And I, and I had to look all over to find this stove. It's a, it's a can I say the name? A GSI stove that is, was new and, and it was made very th a very thin profile. You can see that it's you know, not very th thick at all, which was, is perfect for what, where I was trying to store to give us more space uh, to store. So um, a lot of things just sort of went together. This piece, after I cut it and uh, put the Formica on it and, and dressed it up, it laid right inside this thing. I didn't, I didn't do any measurement, it just happened. And then also inside here, I have a water container and over here, is a little propane growler tank that uh, instead of ha carrying the green cans, I, uh, I use these. 
And then also I found this uh, ARB awning that worked perfectly at the back here to cover up, you know, where, where you work. And I mean, it, it doesn't protect if it's a driving rain, but it, but it works great to keep the sun off of you. One of the things that I, I was trying to do when I was coming up with the, the, the plan was to, to have a sleeping platform inside the vehicle. And so that's essentially what this area is right here. Um, and this would come out, obviously this would, and it's a 20 inch by 72 inch platform. I'm, I'm about six feet getting shorter. And uh, uh, so it can, it can, uh, you can lay that little mattress, which is little air mattress, which is perfect for that space. And if you want to come around and take a look at how this was done, I'll show you. Inside here was, is the, if that was uh, a third, this is another third right here uh, inside the cruiser. And to, to get this up to where you have 72 inches, you bring the seat forward. Then you have this little piece here, which has, it's a cup holder. And you actually fold this over. So you can see here that I have a total of 72 by 20. Uh, from here to the back end of the vehicle. Inside this platform that I have, there's storage. So if you take these, these panels off, which match the, everything in the back, you have these compartments, which go all the way back to the back with various storage. And the attachment, where it's attached, there's a D-ring and a turnbuckle right over this. As I, as I said, you know, I did two thirds of it before I went on my trip. And then I came back home and I thought, you know, I've got a little bit more space. So come around on this side and I replaced the ladder that came with the rooftop tent with, with one of these, which is, uh, is less uh, cumbersome and, uh, and it can stand away from the vehicle a little bit more because when you climb up in there, if you're not careful, you'll kick the side panel. And I ended up making a little board uh, out of uh, Western Red Cedar to stand on to climb up in there. Now inside here, I built some boxes that go to the back here uh, that you can store stuff down inside. I wanted, I, I had some more space that I wanted storage, so nothing in there, but it, but it all attaches to the original uh, project. And then these uh, wing nuts then attach everything else together. I have a, a five-year-old border collie and she uh, needs a place to ride. So if you take this down and it, this folds up, you have a nice little little platform that she can, she can climb in and, and ride on. It, it was easy enough to cover all this with indoor outdoor carpet that's real cheap and uh, you know it's relatively soft. It cleans up pretty good. And if it ever got really smushed and messed up, then you could always replace it easy enough. My son who lives in Richmond, Virginia, he's coming up this weekend. We're gonna spend some time together and, and visit. And we'll, we're gonna talk about uh, going out and camping, the two of us, where we can have, we can have some uh, pop and, uh, and sun time. So that would be absolutely great.